fellow movie crusaders, welcome to another episode of Sean's Movie Crusades. My name is Sean Wasserkrug, and today we're going to be reviewing one of the basically highest reviewed films of the year, and that is the Korean film Parasite. Uh, now, one thing uh, you guys might notice is I'm not wearing my hat, because <laughs> yes, I have hair, for people who don't think I do. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little under the weather, per personally, and I have a very sizable headache right now, and I don't want a hat <laughs> basically constricting my head, so I'm not wearing the hat right now. Um, but yeah, uh, so Parasite. Um, basically, I mean, for me personally, I'm not a big foreign film uh, watcher. Uh, nothing against foreign films. I mean, they, they do phenomenal films overall. It's just I'm not a big subtitle reader. Uh, I like to be able to visually see the screen um, and, and be able to see everything that's going on without looking down and reading the subtitles. But for a film like this, where it's more of a, a drama, in a sense, um, it's easier for me to look down and look up than something like a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or a Train to Busan, or something like that, where quick action's happening and you're having to look up and down. Um, so with Parasite, uh, Parasite comes from the director, uh, Bong Joon-ho, and I, I, I'm already going to apologize from the get-go, because I'm probably going to butcher the heck out of these names, and I'm so, so sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, Bong Joon-ho uh, is the director. He's a pretty critically acclaimed director. Um, apparently, he's got a lot of phenomenal films um, out there, which um, I'm definitely going to have to check out. Uh, but yeah, uh, Parasite. Uh, it's on a lot of people's top movies lists of 2019. Um, it's definitely going to be a front runner for the best foreign film when it comes to around Oscar time. But a lot of people are really pushing for this film to be nominated for Best Picture. Uh, so I had to go out of my way to try to see this and basically see what the what the commotion was about. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the review and see what I thought of Parasite. Um, Parasite, the plot. Now here's the thing: the best way to go into Parasite is to not really know where the main plot of the film is. Like, I'll be able to give you some basics, but I can't go any further with that without really taking the film kind of out of your hands. Because the journey of Parasite is to watch the film unfold um, without knowing what's actually go happening in the film uh, until it actually does happen. But um, in a nutshell... Uh, basically, we're looking at um, two families. You got you got a rich family, and you got a family that is basically just barely getting by. Um, they're all unemployed, and they're fighting for everything they can to try to even get Wi-Fi. I mean, the opening scene of the film is the uh, two children or teenagers um, basically scouring the ceilings, trying to connect to a Wi-Fi signal because they can't afford the Wi-Fi. Um, and then there's this rich family, uh, who basically, um, has a younger daughter who is looking for a tutor, and the son of the, um, poor family, uh, gets hired on to tutor the, uh, rich girl, uh, in English. And that's all I'm gonna say with this film, is it's basically a rich family and a poor family, and their lives get intertwined. And it's pretty crazy the way things turn out. Um, but yeah, so that's the general plot of Parasite. Um, what works with Parasite? Uh, first things first, um, what people have been saying about this film is this is one of the best films of the year. They weren't lying. Uh, Bong Joon-ho, um, never really heard of the guy, except for, like, you know, rumblings here and there. Uh, definitely made me aware of himself in this film. I am definitely going to take notice with any of his films. I definitely am going to have to find time to go back and watch some of his previous films because this movie is fantastic. Um, it's easily one of the best films of the year, and I understand why people are trying to push it for a Best Picture nomination. Um, <coughs> the, the way Bong Joon-ho shoots this film, the way the cinematography is shot. Now, I mean, I, I'm not talking about, like, great landscapes or anything like that, but it is a, between a, the rich and the poor, like, the way the lifestyles and the colors and the way he 
he opens the sh the shots and then closes the shots um is is incredibly breathtaking to the eye uh and it's sometimes you don't notice it uh until you kind of pull back and you go oh wow i'm seeing how he's you know when we're, when we're on the poor family everything's very con confined very dirty um very con like almost like uh suffocating to a point uh but then when we are with the rich family it's colorful it's very open it's very wide like endless possibilities uh for them and very open landscaping and it's uh <coughs> excuse me it's a very um beautiful visual uh throughout the film um the cast uh personally like i said because i don't watch foreign films all this cast was new to me uh, and all of them, for the most part, uh, do a fantastic job. Um, with the, uh, Kang, Kang Ho Song, uh, he plays Kim, um, I'm basically gonna butcher all these names, I really, really hate that I have to do this, because I don't want to, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Kim, uh, Kang, Kang Ho Song, he plays, uh, Kim, uh, Kai, Katik, Katik? Uh, he's kind of the main character. He's he's the son of the poor family who is being hired on to uh, basically be the tutor um, for uh, um, uh, Kai Kai or uh, De Hai De Hai uh, Park, played by Yi So Young. Um, I I really like his character. He's he's a very clever um, uh, kid in the film. Uh, always has a plan, always just trying to think of a plan to try to make him and his family's life better. Um, his sister, uh, played by, um, looking for her here, uh, Sodan, Sodan Park, uh, she's, um, Kai Jung Kim, um, she, I loved her character. She was probably one of my favorite performances of the film. I loved how she was able to kind of potentially, and like I said, I gotta use my words uh, very close, because like I said, I don't want to give anything away with this film, but the way her character is in one landscape compared to the next is almost like you're watching two different people, um, and I think she does a phenomenal job. Um, then you've got the father, uh, played by, um, I'm trying to find him here real quick. Uh, actually, that might be Kai Teek. Uh, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I apologize, but the father in the film, um, actually he's right over my shoulder here, uh, I, I love his character, um, and his pride is, is a huge motivator for this film, um, he knows when to pull back, but he knows when to defend himself in a sense, and watching his character throughout the film, um, like I said, I gotta use my words wisely, uh, expanding and also declining in a sense, uh, is, is a beautiful watch all the way up till the final act when things just go insane. Um, the rest of the cast, like I said, they're all, they're all great. Uh, I, cause I'm not gonna butcher any more names, but for anyone who knows these actors, they all do a fantastic job. The story itself, um, I love the way the story is told. You're, you're watching it in one format and you're like, okay, it's about this poor family. Uh, and then once the rich family comes in, you start to see the breadcrumbs, and you start following the breadcrumbs, and then you start to kind of pick up on what's about to happen in the film, and then it's an adventure trying to see how they're going to get from point A to point B to point C, uh, and then when those things potentially happen or do not happen. Um, it's a very interesting and a very intriguing um, story, to say the least. And then when we get to a certain point in the film, which anyone who watches this film is going to know exactly the point I'm talking about, the whole movie gets turned upside down, and it, it changes the whole landscape of the way this film is from the rest of the way through, because you're watching this, this one, these two families intertwine, and then this one big thing happens, and now this is not the same movie anymore. And now it's basically these two families and this situation going on and it just keeps piling and piling and piling up and it's them having to kind of figure out what to do and it goes off in insanely crazy um uh um effects uh that happen because of this 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 situation that happens in the film 
and um, I think uh, they do it masterfully in this film. Um, what, what doesn't work, uh, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that doesn't work. I mean, I will say personally, if I have to nitpick something, I wasn't a particular big fan of the poor family's mother. Uh, if there was one character that I just was kind of like, ugh, whenever they were on screen, it was her. Um, I think, uh, she's, um, Chung Sook Kim, played by Hai Jin Zhang. Uh, nothing against the actress, per se. I, she does a great job for what she does in the role, but I would feel like out of everyone in the film, she's definitely, to me, the weakest part. Not saying that she's bad in the movie, because she's not. It's just she's the one character that I did not want to watch um, the most, and so whenever she was on screen, I was kind of losing potential interest, uh, in the film, um, but that's really it in terms of what doesn't work, now, yes, you could say that it's a little slow to start, but they are building the characters of, of the two families, so it is kind of a slow build, but then once you start to figure out where the story is going, it, it really starts to kind of speed up a little bit, and when the thing that I'm talking about happens, the whole movie has you on the edge of your seat, and you are locked in, and you are just fully invested with this film the whole way through. Um, like I said, I'm, sorry for, I'm sorry for this review being so vague, but it's very, very hard to talk about this film without giving stuff away. Uh, but yeah, going to overall thoughts. Um, if you're not a foreign uh, film watcher, like, like me, I'm not, still highly highly recommend going out of your way to see this film this is a movie that i think might a make you a fan of trying to watch these kinds of films and of the director and of these potential actors and actresses um i think that they do a phenomenal job of, of telling a story and peeling back layers to the story as the film is going through um and the visuals that they use for the film and the story and, and everything about it, um, it, it's a fantastic film, it's a great film, it's one of my favorite films of the year uh, going on so far. Um, so going to an overall score for Parasite, I'm going to give it a 9.4 out of 10. Um, reason being that it's not higher, like I said, the mom character for the poor family I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, it does start off a little slow for some. Um, and obviously, I mean, it's it's still a foreign film, so you do have to be able to read the subtitles a little bit faster, so that way you can kind of look up and catch the thing uh, going on. Um, like I said, that's not the film's fault. <laughs> but yeah, 9.4 out of 10, uh, which does mean that this film does break into the top 25, uh, or top 25, top 10 of 2019 so far. Uh, and it comes in at the number five spot, with number one going to Avengers Endgame, uh, number two being Jojo Rabbit, three Toy Story 4, four Joker, five Parasite, six Rocket Man, seven Peanut Butter Falcon, eight El Camino, the Breaking Bad movie, nine Book Smart, ten Us, with John Wick Chapter 3, Pelabellum dropping out of the top ten. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, go out of your way to see this film if you can. Um, like I said, try to get past the whole uh, foreign, um, the whole, like, you know, foreign film with subtitles, stuff like that, because you are going to watch a fantastic film overall with great cast, great story, great visuals, and a batshit crazy story that, that is an insane one that I've never seen anyone do before. So definitely go out of your way to see it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys feel like this review is worth sharing, Go ahead and hit that share button, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that like button to the channel, so that way you guys, or the subscribe button to the channel, so that way you guys stay up to date with all the latest videos that pop up on Sean's Movie Crusades, and of course, don't forget to follow us on all the social media outlets you see below. Coming up next, um, we've got the review for 2019's Charlie's Angels. Um, we'll see how that goes, and then we also have... Uh, Ford v. Ferrari and Dr. Sleep coming up as well. And then, of course, uh, next week, um, we're going to start the Movie Crusaders ride through the Star Wars galaxy as we will be going through each episodic film of the Star Wars franchise, just basically talking about it, dissecting it, bashing it, loving it, having fun, me and the other fellow Movie Crusaders, so be on the lookout for that. And until next time, in case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, Movie Crusaders.